Carl, I saw your um, your your bit on Facebook about the idea of buying a big uh, estate and working cooperatively and all that. Yes. And yes, I really love that idea. And um, I, I I actually had when when we were in our twenties and my friends in England, we first started buying houses. And I remember it occurring to me that um, do you know what I mean by this? The law of um, What's the, the law of diminishing returns doesn't apply to houses. The more money you spend, the really the more house you get when it comes to houses yeah. and land, I think. So in England, you could buy a manor house for one and a half, two million quid, or you could 20 years ago. Yes. Um, and I said to my friends, oh, why don't we do that? And then with the money we've got left, we could hire a, a cook and we could hire a gardener. And, we could, and they just looked at me like I was mad. But I was yeah. really being real about it you know so we're all going to sit in our you know two or three bedroom terrace boxes um we could do so much more right well but, you're back to the lanes you were talking about i think i think yeah. this, this takes a shift doesn't it of thinking and being yeah and risk and fear you know challenging fears and that's why i think that you know it's, it's a very 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 interesting uh, point you make because yeah housing co-ops not the not the housing co-ops that were like a or, you know sort of yeah. semi-political thing but living cooperatively is does have many possible upsides and benefits but it also requires a lot of work and a change of thinking and a change in our expectations mainly i guess as yeah. well so, on paper, your idea sounds fantastic. I mean, Portugal would be such a good place to do it. You're right. I mean, the more the more people get together with a with a modest amount of money, you can buy you can buy a village, can't you? You can buy yeah. incredible properties, an old vineyard, yeah. an old a day. There, there has to be a lot of tolerance as well built yeah, into built into the people. I think. I mean, I, I noticed this with. Um, I, I, it's occurred to me, sort of the group of friends that I have, um, and I've got a really great group of friends here in central Portugal, but we're all very different. It's, it's interesting because in England, we probably wouldn't have met each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we, our, our ages are so different and our backgrounds are so different. Um, so it's been quite interesting because some trying to get through the things that maybe we wouldn't normally see eye to eye on and value the kind of... Uh, the difference that each person brings to the group, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Which, which is what tolerance is, I think, isn't it? I think you you're right. Word. Yeah, I think you're right. So we've got some good themes this morning: the co-ops, the changing lane, changing the way we look at things. Great conversation. Hug, hug, hug a slug. Someone called Hug a slug was just on the chat there. Yeah. These are these are dried um, plums. Yeah. Okay. So I think he was saying the dried plums might be. I believe there is a cream available if you've got really dry plums. Um, great conversation. Uh, co-ops. Co I nearly said coops, uh, but and that's the problem, isn't it? People believe they will be cooped up in a co-op and have yeah. to face all their fears and difficulties. And maybe that's what we do need to do anyway as a race. And maybe that's why we're in the trouble we're in um, because yeah. we can't face the dark side that might come up in cooperative living. Uh, co-ops are the answer to a lot of problems. Houses, says Pete, uh, can become money pits if you aren't careful. But then again, you've got a lot of hands to work, especially if they're skilled hands, right? I grew up in a 12-bedroom house on particular gardens and we could only afford to eat half of it. The bigger the house, the more it, it uh, sucks up. Hug a slug, uh, absolutely right. He is here, canning, jarring, drying, making jam soups and boots. Uh, the old school way of managing the abundance of produce at one time. And we need to recover those skills, don't we? Yeah. And the cost of materials has quadrupled in some cases in COVID. Is someone jet washing your room, Katya? <laughs> no, so I have a bit of the window open <laughs> and there's a road here. <laughs> Sorry. Jet washing service and, uh, uh, of the computer or something like that. Carl, speaking <laughs> of those, those skills, this is also something I've noticed in um, our village is I would guess for, for a farmer, um, I'm very, very young, yeah. actually. So, yes. so when I look around and what, what interests us is – as time goes by, more and more of these small, you know, 2,000, 3,000 square metre plots become available as people sadly pass away. And um, what I do think is worrying, and Katia, maybe you, you, you might have something to say about this, is those skills are being lost. You, you know what I mean? How to, how to, because some of those people are getting amazing crops out of the smallest pieces of land. And I know some, there's, there's one old couple who live nearby who told us they never go to the supermarket. So they've got 2,000 square meters and all of their food, bar the meat, um, comes from that 2,000 square meters. And that skill, those skills are, 
are sadly going to you know be lost when they when they pass on because they i asked them what do their children think about coming out and helping on the farm and they laugh for five minutes you know they, they said no. <laughs> the, the, young, the young people aren't the young people aren't interested maybe that's what it requires is these the fe's the expats the foreigners the immigrants to come in see the beauty of it and and work directly this is so we are at 10 o'clock we need i need your final and concluding thoughts here we've got uh, the portuguese who's a farmer i love how you call yourself a farmer that's spelled f-a-i-r-m-e-r -E the, the the modern farmer who refers to chat gpt from time to time we'll come to you the final thoughts yeah. but first katia what time are you publishing katia uh, later today, probably before uh, lunchtime. So I'm just going to give it the final read and then hit that publish button. Beyondlisbon.wordpress.com yeah. and buy her a coffee while you're there. Your final thoughts on this, maybe bringing things together. Will we repopulate Central? Will we form ourselves into cooperatives and live the dream that Tony's talking about? Do you think that's possible, Katya? Yeah, I think so. I think that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> Maybe not in the next couple of years or so, but yes, I think so. Wow. And I actually think the central Portugal is going to be fundamental in that, in Portugal. I really do. Because wow. of the people going. Yeah, 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 honestly, I do. And I've been thinking this for some four or five years already. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, I don't think thinking, so, yes. I've been thinking of it for, I think, probably 15 years now, and I've ended up in a suburban street in a touristy seaside town. Who knows what might happen, though, in the yeah. next... Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Katia, for being here, and uh, that inspirational message there. What do you reckon, Tony? Yeah, I, I agree, and actually, I'm... Um... I can't say I'm looking forward to it because I feel bad for the people who, who won't have a choice. And I think a lot of people won't have a choice. But what uh, what I say is I'm ready, uh, or at least we're getting ready. We're, we're getting ready for that time. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy to Can be I... out there working on the, on the farm. Yep. Right. Can I just say something? I think that we, we will be creating new villages. That's what I think. Mm. With... Um, you know, modern villages in the sense that some of the people that live in urban areas will eventually move to less urban areas. And even if they don't know how to work the land, so to speak, mm. they will bring other skills and yeah. make new communities. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think yeah. honestly that I don't want to think that the people who are forming these communities now will stop new people from coming in simply because they don't have the same skills they do. I don't think that will happen. I don't want to think that can happen because that will be completely <laughs> not uh, in line with the thinking we want to have, right, in future communities. That's yeah, my thinking. Well, uh, well uh, maybe the next time the three of us are on the screen, we can talk directly about this. It was always my vision to, to be involved in the way you're speaking about moving to Portugal. Life changes, doesn't it? Things come up and, and you have plot twists. But I think we've got a general trend in society, um, globalization, socioeconomical factors, political factors that are indeed moving people towards a more cooperative way of living, either because they see the benefit and the vision and inspiration in that, or as I think you might be suggesting as well, because they'll just have to, right? Just have to, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Amazing, amazing. On that inspiring note, thank you so much, Katia Lima, the uh, Beyond Welcome. Lisbon, whose piece you can thank see. Thank you. And the farmer with tiny grapes, but only yep. at the moment. I, I, <laughs> I, I predict full and swollen grapes for you in the future. Well, as I say, we're, we're quite proud because uh, people suggested that we take we take the old grapes out because they were dead, and yep. we've brought them back to life. Well, my wife, my wife has brought it's them back to life. Yeah. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Yeah. The so, metaphor uh, for the replanting of Central Portugal. You take care. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, bye, bye everybody. Bye bye. 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 Ciao, ciao. Bye. bye. In Portugal, there's a YouTube show full of fun facts you need. will come and they will blow your mind the audience will do so 